her. Yeah, I think I love her. Oh, I think I love her. I don't think I could ever, ever find another. Top five rap website was good. I'm giving y'all my early thoughts on that Drake Scorpion. Today is July 2nd, Monday. Scorpion came out on Thursday of last week. You know, and I'm just now getting my first thoughts, opinion in. So, um, I like to sit with albums for a little while before I, you know, put my opinion out. Y'all know that. So, um, I've had a chance to sit with this Drake album. I've listened in multiple different situations out in, and in different environments. I listen in my room. I listen in the car. You know, on a weekend, on a weekday. Um, you know, so I've got to feel it a bit more. We like on listen number four. Next listen to be listen number four. And, you know, for a double album, I have to say that it plays smoothly for a double album. Double album is not easy to pull off. Um, it's 20 plus songs usually when you say double album, which means you have to keep a listener engaged for almost an hour and a half, two hours at times. You know, some of my favorite double albums of all time, All Eyes on Me by Tupac. Of course, Life After Death by Biggie. Wu-Tang Forever was cool, but it wasn't better than 36 Chambers. And even when we look at Wu-Tang Forever, we only take a couple songs off of that whole double album. You really don't see people refer to the album cuts mo uh, most, most at all, really. And this is Wu-Tang Clan. People revisit their discography because there's legends. Um, you know, so that just goes to show you how tough it is to pull off the double album. And I think Drake did a good job. Now, to give perspective, I'm not like a huge Drake fan. I wouldn't even call myself a supporter. Um, I have bought one album by Drake, Take Care. I did enjoy that. I enjoyed Drake's run in 2011 from May, about May to September when he did I'm On One uh, with Khaled. He did Trust Issues, which was kind of like weekend type of vibe. That was like his first song like that. And that ended up being the direction that he took on Take Care. You know, and I like that style so much that I bought Take Care be because of that. Not even being a Drake fan, like being a, a, a harsh critic, actually. So, um, you know, Drake has his times for me. I really like if you're reading this, it's too late. Um, you know, but when you look back at those two projects, Take Care and If You're Reading This, It's Too Late, in retrospect, today we know that those are the projects where Drake has received the most writing help, right? So, you know, 20 plus songs. Out of those 20 songs, I can take at least 10 of them. And if I could pull up the track list here, looking at the track list, you know, I, I really didn't like the intro much. Survival. Um, I, I, I don't. I don't think that was a real good way to come into the album at all. But that's neither here nor there. Some of my favorite songs: Elevate, Emotionless. I think those are two of the best songs on the album. Elevate, Emotionless, Eight Out of Ten. Um, really great song. That almost. That song almost reminds me of something Kanye would make, and it kind of sounds like vintage Drake. Drake, you know, 2010, kind of like the Thank Me Later era. Um, that song kind of sound like it was dug out of the, you know, out of the crates. Like he reached, like he, that song was already completed years ago, or maybe, it, you know, the skeleton to, for the song was there and he just pulled it out and finished. And I think that, I think eight out of 10 is, is, it has something more to do with Kanye and Drake. Cause that sounds like a Kanye song, not a Kanye song, but it sounds like something Kanye would say, like maybe some Drake would write for Kanye even. Or, 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 you know, a part of Kanye that Drake was influenced by, especially the hook. Um, but that's one of my favorite songs, you know, so we got Elevate so far, Emotionless, 8 out of 10, Mob Ties was dope, Mob Ties was kind of like some Playboy Cardi, um, is that the one where he rap rapping like 21 Savage, let me see. Kind of sound like Ty Dolla Sign on this part. It's too late for it. Hey, it's too late for it. That kind of reminds me of Ty Dolla Sign. So yeah, Mob Ties, it kind of gives me a couple different artist vibes. But, you know, still a good song nonetheless. Talk Up is real boss. Featuring Jay-Z, I really like that song. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I really like that song. Um, I kind of wish Jay-Z go harder sometimes. Like with the delivery, you know, and just... You know, I, I'm only on my you know third or fourth listen, so could just be talking now disc two and i heard a lot of people say that this is a double album it's one side rap one side r b it, it's not really this too is is not really r b it has r b on it and it kind of starts off with some r b on peak summer games jaded but he's rapping on disc two nice for what um blue tent um he, he's spitting verses on on disc two so this isn't one side is rap one side is r b there's definitely a different vibe between disc one and two disc one is kind of more 
braggadocio, you know, rapper. Disc, disc two is more mellow, laid back, a little softer. But on disc two, I like Nice For What. Nice For What, again, one of those best songs on the album. Blue Tent, I had a feeling Blue Tent was gonna be one of the best songs on the album just based on the track list when he first put the track list out. I've listened to disc one more than, or for some reason, disc one has stuck with me more. I have listened to it more than disc two. I think I'm on listen like three with disc two. You know, so I still gotta return to some. The Michael Jackson feature doesn't really stick out. I can't really hear it in my head right now. Um, but yeah, out of this one, out of those 12 songs, I'm taking five. I'm taking Elevate, I'm taking Emotionless, I'm taking eight out of 10, Mob Ties, and Talk Up featuring Jay-Z. And there's other great songs. God's Plan, great song. Sandra's Rose, great song. Um, this Coup, I still, you know, this whole album, I still gotta sit with it. This is my final review. I'm just putting my thoughts out there so y'all get the top five rap website opinion on it, you know, so you know how to feel about it. Um, but how did y'all, how y'all feeling about it? What about the album cover? Um, album cover to me, I mean, you don't really see, he's doing his thing, he's doing his thing. I, I think Scorpion is better than Views and I think it's better than More Life. I think it's better than Drake's last two albums. Um, I wouldn't put it above, nothing was the same yet. Um, and obviously I think if you're reading this too late, it's too late and take care of his best album. So I can't really put it near those either, but, um, you know, for a double album, I'm still riding with it. Um, I'm going to give it another probably two, three weeks, sit with it, you know, play it in different environments, um, play it after different types of albums. I'm not just going to be listening to this you know, for two weeks straight. Um, I'm listening heavy kind of to the napalm. Um, if y'all know napalm, N-A-I space p-a-l-m uh, she dropped an album in 2017 she's kind of more r&b but she dropped more of an acoustic album i don't think there's any drums in that album that she dropped um and also katja bonet she dropped an album called child queen so and i've been listening to those things and though and napalm is in the is in the spins heavy amber marketing spin heavy right now the corners out ep and uh you know Jungle Pussy and Gabriel Garzon Montano, who's the Stone Throw, they just dropped a you know a, a single too. So there's a lot of music out right now, so it's not like I'm just gonna be playing this 24/7. But y'all will get the full review; it's coming. Um, but so far, this is a good album. I think it's better than his last two, for sure. For a double album, he it, it seems well executed. Top Five Rap Website, Twitter.com at Top Five Rap Website, and of course Top Five Rap Website.com. Peace.